smells good in here. Wow. Ooh, a stiletto I conveniently placed here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get this video started. Get in the tripod. Come on. Okay, so. I'm gonna do a video about the stiletto. That I never really made a video on. This is it. Okay. Okay, here we go. project that I didn't really want to do on camera and here here we are we're gonna be doing the finishing touches on it on camera and it's it's, it's a unique type of blade style concept where you want to call it it's called a stiletto not the heels women wear it's a knife it's a dagger, yes. A stiletto is made for quick motion right in between in and out of the ribs. Quick puncture something in there. Nice, thin, sleek blade. It's really flexible for some odd reason. And the handle, this is like the really, like the most bootleg design you can get out there. And now we're gonna be finishing her up. So, thank you for joining me and I will I was going to say, and I'll see you again, but the video just started, and I'm not ending the video. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Then. Oh, let's get a new camera angle right here. how that look? That look about good. Okay. We're gonna start off with a 240 grit belt. Pretty sure, yep, 240. Um, I did it, that's a, what's on the blade right now is a 120 grit finish. We're gonna go all the way up to 400 grit finish. And then, it's gonna look really pretty. I'm gonna congratulate myself. All right, so we're going to do 240 here. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Okay. That's one pretty looking blade. I tell ya. Okay, that was the 240 grit. Now I reckon we're going to move on to the 400. So I don't think I have anything that's in between. Uh, there's my 400 grit belt. Hmm. Right. So right now the 400 grit is really just buffing it up. 
making it look shinier and really putting that final edge on. But if you've been around the channel long enough, putting the final edge on is with the 1x30 and the really, really worn down 400 grit belt, which provides like the sharpest edges known to man for some odd reason. Long time no talk, hi. Okay, let's wipe that off. Hope to God it looks beautiful. Get it all shiny and I'll probably hand sand with 600 grit just for the fun of it. Okay, now let's put the final edge on it here. That was really anticlimactic, holy. I must put some buffing compound on it too. Ew. Look at me, anti-founcing. So I can only assume this goes to the one by three. There I think it's a good thing when you can run your blade across and you can feel like the electric sh I can feel that Yeah, I can feel Huh I can feel the electricity moving through the frame itself, the casting of it, so that my guard gets close to send just shock through my hand. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Okay. You might realize we're in a bit different spot because my bench over there is messy. So let's just give this a nice, quick little and sand here. Okay. So when we're done with this, there should be a half Decent edge on it. Let's get the white cloth here. I kind of like that look. I'm 
grips on the fingernail nicely. Stab test. Glides right through it. Heck yeah. Okay, here. Yeah, see the workbench is a mess. I'm restoring one of those other 100 year old uh, doorknobs for my grandma again. Okay, so we're looking mighty, mighty fine right now. Um, let's put her in the vise here. Okay, so this is a stiletto I made. It is out of an old file, or the correct file name was, it was an old bastard file. Yes, that's the correct name. That come from. And it's, it's an aluminum guard. This is not one of my finest pieces I've made. Definitely not. Um, file, hard, re really hard. The two by seventy two had tough time trying to get it with a thirty six grit belt. Aluminum guard that didn't really turn out that good as I thought it would. Then we got the ash handle covered in bull and oil, and uh, yeah. Here, do I have like something I can test it on? Answer no. Okay, I guess it's gonna be myself then. Nice. But otherwise, this is half decent blade wise it looks pretty good the blade I am satisfied with the blade the, the rest of it is it's a work in progress you could say I would turn the handle to make it this funny shape that kind of is nice to hold um, overall turned out really nice the tip isn't okay the tip is a bit Sharp. Uh, the guard works. There's a bunch of epoxy holding it together, so it's kind of it's not gonna really fall apart. Shouldn't at least. And what I want to do with the handle is I wanted to wrap wire around it, that bracing wire. Wrap. There's a gnat. Where's the blowtorch? <clears throat> I was gonna wrap brazing wire around it so it looked a lot cooler, and I get like it look kind of I don't know. But it didn't really work that well, so I just put linseed oil on it and call it good. But otherwise, thank you for watching me finish buffing up this little turd. And uh, I'll see you again. Thought I could stop it with the tip of the blade.